wanted to say a few words about what I'm about to do, uh, because I suppose it's likely to be a little bit unfamiliar. Uh, here is the long story of this area of interest of mine compressed into a very few sentences. Uh, I, I think I got started being interested in this long before I knew about computers. Uh, of course, my first love was the oboe, and uh, I have many dear memories of the oboe, spending countless, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, we seem to have a speaker problem, just one second. So, right, so I, I was telling the story of, of my interest in, in this problem, I, and I was learning to play the oboe. I just spent a, a quite a bit of time trying to master the darn thing, uh, working with embouchure, the tongue, the fingers, the all-important breath, uh, the harder problem of finding ways to get all of this to fit together. And occasionally, I remember having this experience where I stopped thinking about all of the technique for a moment, and I focused instead on the music. And there, there would be these moments of feeling like I was immersed in the instant, like I was singing, like I was telling a musical story. And I soon figured out this was what the whole thing was about. The technique was really just a way to support this experience. And as I had these moments, eventually I imagined other instruments involved, and it's not surprising that they followed me perfectly because they were simply the product of my imagination. Uh, and this was really the, the germ of this idea. Uh, so I, I fast forward a few years later. Uh, for a, a while, I spent quite a bit of time playing in the orchestra. That's what American oboists are trained to do. And there uh, I saw a long parade of orchestral soloists. And I saw them having this deeply meaningful experience, as it seemed to me. Uh, I, I watched with admiration, uh, maybe some envy too, I suppose. Uh, in fairness, I, I did have that experience on occasion. The oboist doesn't often appear as soloist, but it was enough to get a taste of it and have an understanding of uh, how deeply meaningful the experience could be. Um, of course, I learned also about the harsh realities of life. Uh, it takes maybe 40 people to be the orchestra and one to be the soloist. So I suppose in a perfectly fair world, maybe one out of 41 times you would get your chance. Uh, you all know that we don't live in a perfectly fair world, uh, so it didn't actually work out that way. Uh, but I. I did come to understand uh, that it wasn't really just about me. Uh, there was a whole community. Most of the musicians in the world are in exactly the same position as, as I found myself, wanting this experience and, and not really getting very much of a chance to do it. So then fast forwarding again a few years, I have my degree in applied math and I, perhaps I know something about how to do this. So I set upon this, this rather long project to develop a program that would serve as the orchestra or whatever the accompanying ensemble is. Um, it would listen, it would follow, it would anticipate, it would learn, it would do all the things well. It would simulate the things that, that human musicians do. Uh, so I, I spent many years doing this, and, and, and here I am about to demonstrate it for you. Uh, I am an Alex Korniav. Uh, I do just have one final last comment about perspective. Um, in a way, ironic is not the word I'm looking for, but it seems somehow not quite right that uh, we do this as a concert. Uh, I know this is very much a part of uh, the classical music tradition where uh, having practiced, you play for people, for the enjoyment of the audience, not just, but that's an important part of it. Well, 
I do hope very much that you like what you hear, but I don't actually think it's the main point here. The main point is that original conception that I was describing, the, the experience of the player. This is what I'm after. So while I would love it if you came up to me at the end and you told me how much you loved the music, what would please me more is if you came up to me and say, I want to try that. Uh, so, okay, without, without further ado, I begin now. I made a change in the program. It was an executive decision. I'm not playing uh, the Mozart concerto. I'm gonna play the first Schumann romance. Um, we have a speaker here. Well, we've changed the table today and that made the problem go away. Uh, yeah, but maybe we'll just do it with one speaker. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to wait to do that. Okay. Okay. 